hi guys so we'll be starting off this lecture with uh, actually determining in which order we should take the resonance hyperbolic conjugation and effect and inductive effect on the stability of a compound so order of stability of a compound so in order to determine the stability of a compound we first see that does this does this structure have any resonance then we check for hyperconjugation and at last we check for inductive effect okay so this is a this is a general thing which i think you all should remember in my in mind that whenever you have to compare stability of two compounds please use this rule that first you have to check for resonance second hyperconjugation and third inductive effect okay and why i'm saying this that let us take into let us take some example of the same that we have to compare stability of the following compounds and this one okay so let us first check with resonance as every everyone every compound in this example has the same amount of resonance structures available so we want so all qualify for the resonance or all have the same same number of resonating structures next we check for hyperconjugation so this phenyl ring has 3 alpha hydrogen this has 2 this has 1 this has 0 alpha hydrogen so hence the stability would be this but if someone comes and argues that okay inductive effect would be most in this phenyl ring because it is having tertiary carbon attached to it this is having secondary this is having primary and this is having having zero degree or one degree uh, okay let me let me just um, not define the number of degrees ideally it is one degree this is two degree and this is three degree and this is also 3 degree but here as you can see that CS3 group is attached on this carbon atom so it would add to more plus i effect as inductive effect as a additive effect right so the order would have been completely reversed but uh, this is experimentally proven fact that this order should always be followed to actually compare the stability of uh, various organic compounds right so this is not the case and the order is is still this one okay so we can say that by inductive effect the order should be reversed but by hopper conjugation the order is experimentally proven right so this is the general method to find the uh, stability of any organic compound so this is what is called a general method or a rule of thumb okay so now let us look at some important points so this i'm telling you from the ex exams perspective that these are actually very important points you sh must remember in uh, those scenarios so uh, let us deal it by case by case basis so let's suppose i have this and this organic compound so you need to compare the stability of uh, stability between these two compounds so as as you might know that this is a cis compound at, and this is a trans compound because two bulky groups are on the same side in this compound and in this compound they are on opposite sides diametrically opposite size sides hence they are trans compounds okay so we need to compare the stability so both in both let us compare the hyperconjugation as no resonating resonating structure is present in both so no resonating structure because for resonating structure to happen we must have uh, some filled or unfilled 
ऑर्बिटल एंड अ कॉन्जुगेट पाई बॉन्ड ओके और अ डी ऑर्बिटल और अ फिल डी ऑर्बिटल राइट सो रेजोनेटिंग स्ट्रक्चर इन बोथ कंपाउंड्स एंड बोथ हैव सेम नंबर ऑफ एल्फा हाइड्रोजन्स एज वेल सो नाउ हाउ डू वी कंपेयर द स्टेबिलिटी वाई वेन आई से नंबर सेम नंबर ऑफ एल्फा हाइड्रोजन्स आई बिलीव डैट यू आर एबल टू फॉलो इट राइट सो so then how do we compare which is more stable so what we can say that trans or this one is more stable than cis one because of steering or van der waal repulsion in cis tubutene which is this one as these compounds are these bulky methyl groups are very near to each other then they what they have is a steric repulsion between the two compounds just like if i have two balls very near to each other and all the electrons flowing uh, everywhere around so this two balls or these two bulky methyl groups would be having more steric repulsion than if i have two bulky groups at diametrically opposite ends so it would have some less steric hindrance compared to the previous one right so this is for the trans one so what we can say that trans is more stable than cis because of steric uh, and it is also called van der waal repulsion in cis okay so now let's compare let's let's study case 2 where we need to compare stability between so for this thing this is more stable than the cis one okay so in this thing we need to compare stability of this compound and this compound okay so if i if i draw the hyperconjugating structures from these two compounds then i can easily see that if i remove hydrogen cation from this carbon atom then it would have something like this whereas if i remove hydrogen atom from this i would have something like this thing right so which is the stability of this compound actually Uh, is directly proportional to the stability of its hyperconjugating structure from now we can from here we can see that this hyperconjugating structure is more stable than this hyperconjugating structure why because this has how many number of alpha hydrogens six and this has only one so this is more stable that implies that this also is more stable because its hyperconjugating structure is more stable hence this compound is would be more stable than this compound okay so we can write down this in words that isobutene is the most stable isomer of we will talk about the word isomer in coming lectures but for now you can say that isomer is a rearrangement of Uh, carbon atoms within the same compound or rearrangement of group or rearrangements of some atoms in such a way that uh we will come into this uh, isomerism thing in uh, subsequent lectures but you can see that this is this this and the cis one are three isomers of butene most stable isomer of butene 
because of stable hyperconjugating structures. Okay. So with this we end this lecture and in the next lecture I will also provide you with some more important points uh, from the exams perspective. So till then good night and goodbye.